The sands of Egypt hold more than history. They whisper of forgotten futures. Imagine a child running through fields of barley, the Nile a shimmering ribbon in the distance. This was life, free and connected to the earth. But adulthood brought a different reality. Gone were the carefree days, replaced by the weight of duty, of societal expectations. Like the Nile constrained by its banks, so were the Egyptians bound by a rigid social structure. Their labor, their very existence, was often dictated by forces beyond their control. This stark contrast between the freedom of youth and the constraints of adulthood was no accident. It was, as we'll see, by design. The fall of the Egyptian empire, often attributed to internal strife and external pressures, has a hidden cosmic connection, a tale of manipulation and lost freedom spanning light years. The innocence of childhood is often the first casualty in the game of power. In ancient Egypt, political deals often struck in secrecy and shrouded in promises of prosperity had a profound impact on the lives of everyday people. These deals, far from benefiting the masses, were often the chains that bound them. For young Egyptians, these political machinations meant their future was predetermined. Born into a rigid social hierarchy, their path was often set in stone. The skills they learned, the labor they provided, all were dictated by the needs of the state, a state increasingly influenced by forces not of this world. The adults, hardened by years of toil and accustomed to the pharaoh's authority, accepted this as the natural order. But deep down, a memory lingered, a whisper of the freedom they once knew as children a freedom that was about to be extinguished entirely. Far beyond the Earth, in the vastness of space, two star systems played a cosmic game of chess Sirius and Orion. Sirius, with its brilliant blue-white star, was home to a technologically advanced civilization known for their knowledge and their ambition. Orion, a constellation shrouded in mystery, harbored a more enigmatic force, whispered to be masters of manipulation and control. The Syrians, seeking to expand their influence across the galaxy, set their sights on Earth and its burgeoning civilizations. Egypt, with its rich resources and strategic location, became a prime target, but direct intervention was not their way. They preferred subtlety, influence from the shadows. Enter the Orions, who offered the Syrians a deal. In exchange for access to certain resources within the Sirius system, they would subtly manipulate events on Earth, paving the way for Syrian control. And so the stage was set for a cosmic tragedy, with humanity as the unwitting pawns. The Syrians, masters of disguise, knew that direct conquest was a crude tactic. To truly control a civilization, one had to control its beliefs, its very soul. And so they enlisted the help of another race, the Colombians, humanoid beings known for their spiritual knowledge and unfortunately their susceptibility to manipulation. The Colombians, under the subtle guidance of the Syrians, introduced a new class into Egyptian society, the priest elite. These priests, claiming divine wisdom and a direct connection to the gods, quickly gained influence over the pharaoh and the populace. Temples were erected, rituals established, all designed to instill obedience and reverence, not towards a true divine power, but towards the puppet masters pulling the strings from the stars. The Egyptians, their minds clouded by the incense of piety, were blind to the web of control being woven around them. Section 5. A freedom slowly erased. The infiltration was gradual, like a slow-acting poison. The Syrians, through their Colombian intermediaries, introduced new technologies, new ideas, all seemingly beneficial, all designed to subtly shift the balance of power. The Egyptians, enamored by these gifts from the gods, embraced them wholeheartedly. The construction of the pyramids, often attributed to human ingenuity and willpower, was in reality guided by Syrian technology. The intricate hieroglyphs telling tales of gods and pharaohs subtly reinforced the narrative of divine rule. 
a narrative that masked the true masters of Egypt. With each passing generation, the memory of true freedom of a time when humanity was guided by its own intuition and connection to the earth faded further. The Egyptians, their lives intricately intertwined with the system imposed upon them, became strangers to their own heritage. Section 6. The Illusion of Choice The Syrians, cunning in their methods, knew that outright oppression breeds rebellion. To truly control a population, one must give the illusion of choice, the illusion of freedom, and so they did. The Egyptians were allowed to maintain their cultural practices, their festivals, their way of life, as long as it did not threaten the established order. They were given the illusion of self-governance, with the pharaoh as their leader, unaware that the pharaoh himself was but a puppet dancing to a cosmic tune. This carefully crafted illusion was so convincing that most Egyptians were content with their lot in life. They worked, they worshipped, they obeyed, never realizing that the freedom they cherished, the freedom they thought they possessed, was nothing but a cruel mirage. Section 7. Enslaved by Progress The Syrians, masters of technology, knew that the key to long-term control lay in making their presence indispensable. They introduced advancements in agriculture, irrigation and medicine, all designed to improve the lives of the Egyptians, all the while making them reliant on Syrian technology and expertise. This dependence on progress proved to be a double-edged sword. While it brought about a period of unprecedented prosperity and stability, it also eroded the Egyptians' self-sufficiency. They became consumers rather than creators, their fate inextricably linked to the whims of their invisible overlords. The irony was lost on the Egyptians. They had traded their true freedom, their connection to the earth and their own innate potential for the gilded cage of technological advancement. Section 8, Whispers of a Lost Legacy. Despite the pervasive control, whispers of a lost legacy, of a time before the gods descended from the stars, persisted. These whispers, passed down through generations in hushed tones, told of a time when humanity was free, when they lived in harmony with nature, when their hearts were guided by their own inner compass. These whispers were a source of both hope and danger. Hope, because they kept the flame of freedom alive, however faintly. Danger, because they threatened to unravel the carefully constructed web of control that the Syrians had woven. The Syrians, ever vigilant, sought to stamp out these whispers, to erase the memory of true freedom from the collective consciousness of the Egyptian people. But the truth, like a seed buried deep within the earth, had a way of resurfacing when the time was right. Section 9, The Fall and the Hope for Dawn. The Egyptian Empire, weakened by internal strife and external pressures, eventually crumbled. The Syrians, their goals achieved, moved on to other targets, leaving behind a legacy of dependence and a civilization stripped of its true potential. But the story does not end here, for even in the fall there is hope. The seeds of freedom sown in those whispers of a lost legacy lay dormant, waiting for the right conditions to sprout. The memory of true freedom, though suppressed, was never entirely extinguished. The fall of the Egyptian empire serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder that true freedom is not a gift bestowed by others, but a right inherent within us all. It is a freedom that must be constantly fought for, nurtured and defended, lest we too become pawns in a cosmic game, our destiny controlled by forces beyond our understanding.